Twas the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that Saint Nicholas would be there. The children were nestled snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. The floor and the road such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away from the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast and the new fallen snow gave the lush girl of Minnie to objects below. When the children were wondering, I should appear. Got a minute to say and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. Round with their eagles, his horses they came, and whistled and shouted and called by my name. Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen, to the top of the wall, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky, so up to the housetops, across as they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, and then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pounding of these little hoofs. As I drew in my head, I was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, eyes twinkled, twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pie, how high his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I longed for my sword in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk, and laid his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, and he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.